WNBA Wednesday, the playoffs begin. Single elimination, survive and advance. Phoenix at Indiana at 6 p.m. And that's followed by Seattle, Atlanta at 8 p.m. Talk about pressure. This is your shot. And we are pleased to welcome in studio from the Seattle Storm on the eve of their playoff opener here in Atlanta, two-time WNBA champion, the league assist leader, and the future Hall of Famer Sue Bird is with us, and the very likely Rookie of the Year. Brianna Stewart is also with us. And congratulations, first of all, on the gold medals in Rio. You Thank you. gold medal teammates. Um, new playoff format. Brianna, I'll let you go first. What do you think? Well, this is my first playoffs, so <laughs> it's not very new I mean, to me. I mean, is it exciting? Um, <laughs> it's, I think it is exciting. I think that to have one and done, you know, when you're a lower seed, it obviously um, helps a lot and, and gives a lot of room for excitement. Good. Yeah, I think uh, being the lower seed, it is exciting. You have a chance to in one shot, take care of business. I'm sure if you're the higher seed, you're thinking the exact opposite, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but like Stu said, it generates excitement. You know, I think one game, there's, there's going to be a lot riding on it. So hopefully we can uh, pull it out. Can't wait. Yeah. The summer you guys have had, obviously, going to Rio, winning gold medals, and then come back and out. You've had a little one and done preparation, I would imagine, just in terms of strategy. How do you go into this game different than you would if it was a series? Um, I don't think you can be different. I think hopefully you've been practicing and training for this moment the entire season. But truthfully, I mean, the one we should be talking to is this one. She just did like four years in a row of one and dones and seemed to, to do pretty well. So I think Stewie's the one to give us, <laughs> shed some light on how to do it. Um, you know, I think it's just an exciting time. And you know that, you know, everyone's nerves are high and everyone wants to, everyone wants to play at their best. But uh, to be able to be in this format and, and for us, you know, we've been playing like that once we got back from the Olympics, because we knew we had to, you know, play ourselves into playoff position and just continuing that now. Yeah, that, I want to get to that because prior to going to Rio, Seattle's nine and 15, yeah. and you guys won seven <laughs> of your last 10. To get that seven seed, what, what, what clicked? What happened? Honestly, it seemed like when we came back, when Sue and I came back, the team had a different mindset. Individually and collectively, there was, there was something different about their mentalities and, you know, the way that we were all doing things. And, Sometimes you just need that time to, to get together and to, to spend on the court to really click. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, I'm sure if you look at numbers, you know, Stewie's, she's obviously had some, some big games, same with Jewel, maybe myself at times. But the three of us haven't changed that much, but the rest of the team really looked at their play. And in the WNBA, that's the difference. I mean, you can go down the line on all these teams. The difference is when your bench comes in and gives you solid minutes, yeah. that's how you have championship teams. Sure. Even if you look at the format and, and everybody will have to adjust to that, how important is it just to go out and play your best games anyway? I mean, I, I know people talk about preparation and, and what you do in the lead up, but I mean, you got to have great games from your best players on this one night. I mean, how focused are you guys just on that simple yeah. part of this? Yeah, thanks. thanks for putting that out. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, one and you're done. You got to be ready. So, like I said, I, th I really think the good thing about our team is our coaches have been preparing for this moment the entire season. Whether We didn't know if we were going to get here or not, right. but we have been preparing, and, and everything we've done has been leading to this, to play your best game in this one moment. So you get here in Atlanta, and it's one and done, and you face a player like Angel McCautry, who you know yeah. very well, your Olympic teammate. Yep. I, I watched her in the Olympic play. She, whenever she's on the floor, something's going to happen. <laughs> so so what, what makes her and this team so dangerous as an opponent? They're virtually unscoutable, and that's the way Angel plays. You know, you just, she can do so much with the ball. Um, you know, she can set her teammates up. She obviously can score on her own. She impacts both sides of the ball. And with a player like that, <laughs> I mean, you try to force her, if you can, to take the shots you want her to take, but it's almost impossible. So she's basically unscoutable. They're basically unscoutable. If they go out and play well, I mean, it's very difficult to play with them. How about the challenge of Atlanta? I think it's a, a huge challenge. You know, obviously their big emphasis is, is getting points in the paint and scoring in, in transition. And um, Elizabeth Williams, you know, I've guarded her since high school, college, and now at the professional level. And, um, you know, we know that she's going to be tough tomorrow night. Well, we appreciate you guys stopping by. Yeah, Thank you so much. And Thank best you. of luck. Thank, Thank you. you.